After police cruelty over the father trying to enter and immigrate me as incompetent, I overdosed. I now feel UK Met Police were punishing me for not being beneath a man, which is a social epidemic in the UK. They are race egoists, I feel, and punish features not occurring in British women. It is hard to find British women who don't feature zero resistance, multiple sources have said. There was my overdose in January 2011, Chapter 6, followed by a relapsed cardiac event in February. I was feeling very disturbed throughout 2011, and could not trust doctors. I wrongly believed they were to blame for the trauma I was going through with men loitering outside and kicking the door when I was alone at home, while police looked the other way. After my overdose and relapse cardiac event, I asked my GP, Dr. S., to refer me to a gynecologist. I changed my GP over a dispute about her. In 2012, I was under Dr. V. Then I met the gynecologist who said she could not help me fully, since I did not have indefinite leave to remain. It was not proper she should concern herself with my immigration status. Doctors in the UK are not in charge of patient billing. If a patient is not entitled to free NHS treatment, a doctor has the right, but not the obligation to refuse treatment. They may decide to give treatment and charge any fee they like. A hospital would bill a paying patient at fixed rates, according to rules. If someone is entitled to free NHS treatment, then, doctors and hospitals are obliged to assist as much as possible. I guess there is no such thing as giving only a small amount of treatment or partial treatment because you are illegal. If I am entitled to NHS treatment, it is by permission of the Home Office. There are no gray areas for doctors to judge how illegal you are. Withholding treatment to someone entitled to treatment is not within a doctor's jurisdiction. I said this in a letter to Dr. V, who replied he does not want to be my GP. He wrote in his reply that I had ruined a psychiatrist's life, she was transferred from Pembroke, all thanks to you, he said. In the year, 2012, after Dr. V did not want to be my GP in connection with the above mentioned, I did not have a GP for the next two and a half years.